How many stones do you think people skip here every day? Hmm, thousands. Thousands? Really? You think that many? <laughs> no idea, but it has to be a lot, don't you think? I don't know. Come in the water. No way. I just bought these pants. Literally, you've worn those pants for the past five years. Come in the water. Fine. Do you think our parents did that on purpose? Did what? Name you Nicole and name me Nikki. Nikki, I was born three states over from here. You never know. Our parents could have met years before they had us at a cross-state party for lovers of cheap wine and rotten cheese. Yeah. Got drunk, became besties naturally, naturally, swapped numbers and Skyped every so often until our moms both got pregnant at the same time because they, you know, coordinated stuff like that. Then, what do you know, nine months later, fate decides to give your parents a girl and give mine a girl. So they think it would be poetic to name you Nicole and name me Nikki. And then my parents felt obligated to move three states over so we could grow up together. Basically. That's totally what happened. I'm just saying. My feet are freezing. My feet feel fine. Yeah, well, you have weird feet. I do, don't I? Keep those feet in the water! Oh God. Hey, what do you think they're doing? No idea. Come on, Nicole. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi, what are you all doing? Making wish rocks. Wish rocks? Yeah, we learned in class today about this ancient tradition. Where people would tie their wishes to rocks. And then throw them in the rivers or streams. In hopes that the warriors would wash into the water and, and the spirits, they would, they would... They would hear them and make the wishes come true. You guys really think there are spirits here? Uh, there are spirits everywhere. In the water, in the sky, in your cereal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. May we join you? Nicole! What? I have wishes that need granting. Like what? Oh, you can't tell your wish. That's like the first rule of wishing. Everyone knows that. Yeah, Nikki, everyone knows that. Here, have some paper. Come join us. Let's go. So we just toss them in the stream? As far as you can throw them. No peeking. I'm not. I promise. Ready? Ready. 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 One, two, three, go! Well, let's go. Oh. Have a good summer. Oh, you too. Bye. 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 I hope the wish comes true. What did you wish for? I'm not telling you. That defeats the whole purpose. Oh, come on, Nicole. We've known each other how long? Too long. Too long, exactly. I know more about you than anybody else. Then why do you need to know this? Because I don't like not knowing things. I know. I'm literally going to bug you what? so much until you tell me. If you want to know so badly, why don't you go find the rock yourself? My feet just got dry. Sometimes you have to get your feet wet in life, Nikki. Is that supposed to be a metaphor or something? No, literally you're gonna have to get your feet wet if you wanna know. Or you could just tell me. Nope. Come on, Nicole. Fine. Wait, you'll tell me? No, I mean fine. It was a metaphor. <laughs> Good luck. This is just ridiculous. A true friend would tell someone their deepest, most sacred wish. Is that so? Yeah. It is. Having fun down there? My feet were all nice and dry, too. How many rocks are in this freaking stream? By the looks of it, a lot. Can you point in the direction you threw the rock again? You know, you don't even have to tell me your wish. Oh, really? Why is that? Because I know you so well. I could probably guess it. Did you come down here? Fine. You're never going to find it. Yeah, yeah. I found my Halloween candy you supposedly hid from me last year in no time. Yeah, that's because you knew all the good spots. Yeah, like behind the seat cushion. Or the faulty floorboards in the basement. Or the Ferris wheel. In the hamster cage. Thanks a lot, by the way. Rufus ate like half my candy. What do you want to go as this year? For Halloween? Yeah, I was thinking I could be Dr. Frankenstein and you could be my monster. <laughs> You're way more scary looking than I am. Give up? My feet were getting cold. But don't worry. I'll wear you down eventually. Dude, I'm not gonna tell you in like a million years. I'm sure in a million years I'll have weared you down. 
think we'll be friends in a million years? Of course. You're like my other half. Better half. And I'm yours. We're like two little peas in a pod. No, a million years is a long time. What, you don't think we'll be friends in a million years? Oh, we definitely will be. Of course. Duh. <laughs> How many rocks do you think we've skipped here over the years? I don't know. Thousands? Thousands. You think that many? From all the time we've spent here, probably. Yeah, you're right. At least it was time well spent. True. <laughs> you probably wished you still had all my Halloween candy. But you're still on that. Yeah. Here's to a thousand more. Pretty good at skipping rocks. How many rocks do you think we'll skip here in a million years? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? You think we'll meet our husbands at a fancy party for lovers of cheap wine and rotten cheese, fall in love, get married, and move to a weird little town that only plays addictive Spanish soap operas, which we watch every morning while our men are playing golf. Oh, okay. And then, we get pregnant at the same time. You're blessed with a little girl, and myself a little girl. Then we think it's poetic to name yours Nicole and mine Nikki. Yeah, well, what if we have boys? You don't have to be such a buzzkill all the time. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Gosh! Uh, two! Get at me! <laughs> <laughs>